video, we're going to do a business application problem. We have a local sandwich store called Hunky Beef, and they have fixed weekly costs of $525 and variable costs for making a roast beef sandwich are 55 cents. So first, we want to let X represent the number of roast beef sandwiches made and sold each week and write the weekly cost function. So remember, the cost function is the sum of fixed and variable costs. So our cost function is going to be $525 plus 55 cents for each roast beef sandwiches um, times the number of roast beef sandwiches, which is X. So 525 plus 0.55x. Now we have a revenue function that describes the money that Hunky Beef takes in each week from the sale of X roast beef sandwiches. And we want to use the revenue and cost function to write the profit function. Profit function is the difference between revenue and cost functions. Or in other words, uh, profit P of X equals r of x minus c of x. Um, this should make sense to you that profit is revenue minus cost. So revenue is the money coming into a business. Cost is what the business is spending. Profit is what is left over after you cover your costs. So our profit function is the revenue function minus the cost function. The revenue function is negative 0.001x squared. plus 3x, and then that is minus the cost function, which we put in parentheses because we are subtracting both of those pieces, all of the costs. So that's my profit function, and now I'm going to do some simplifying. If x equals, I'm going to start with distributing the first two terms alone for now. So negative 0.001x squared plus 3x minus 525 minus 0.55x. So this minus sign here is distributed to both things in the parentheses. We have some arrows here to show that. And finally, I can combine some like terms. So I can combine 3x minus 0.55x, that's 245 x and then minus the 525. This is my profit function. Now we want to graph the profit function on the Desmos graphing calculator. Here, add in. So it doesn't look like much, um, but I probably need to adjust my settings here so that I can see the parabola. So I'm going to change my x-axis. Um, let's try 0 to 500. Change my y-axis. Um, See, my y-intercept is negative 525. So let's try negative 600 to maybe 1,000. Okay, I can see I kind of have it right here, but I need a lot more sandwiches. So my x needs to be much bigger. Let's try 2,000. Okay, that's better. Now I can see my parabola. So let's see. My question that I'm trying to answer next is to determine the number of roast beef sandwiches 
the store should make and sell each week to maximize profit. So this is the profit graph. I can see that profit is going to be highest at the maximum point, the vertex. And if I click near it, then it will um, let me click directly on that point, which is very nice of Desmos to do. So when I click on that point, I can see that the X coordinate is 1225 and the Y coordinate is 975.625. So the number of sandwiches is the X coordinate there. So that is uh, 1,225 sandwiches. And question E is what is the maximum weekly profit? So the maximum weekly profit is the dollar amount there, which is the Y coordinate. So just like in econ class, when we're dealing with these problems, we have dollar amounts on the Y axis and we have number of products on the X axis. So 975, um, we're going to round to two digits after the decimal point because we're dealing with money, 975.63.